so as you can see here i have now opened my bios and uh, to access um pbo2 with curve optimizer so i am using an msi motherboard so msi click bios so similarly if others are having like click bios version 5 they will have a different gui so basically what you need to do is you, uh, you will have an overclocking or cpu control section in your motherboard so you can go over there and in my motherboard here they have mentioned all the ram timings ram details and the cpu base frequency so the fch base so this is the uh, chipset base frequency so those details similarly all other details are mentioned here so to adjust the uh, precision boost overdrive what we need to go into is the uh, advanced cpu configuration amd overclocking and under precision boost overdrive default it would be set as auto you can just enable it to uh, leave the control to the motherboard or you can go into advanced and then we need to set pbo limits disabled so what happens if you disable this limit means once we have disabled the pbo limits the motherboard will not put any limitation on the pbo algorithm and the pbo algorithm will be entirely controlled by the cpu itself and the precision boost overdrive scalar can be auto and boost overhead it can be disabled because like we are not controlling uh, it through here so once we have applied the precision boost overdrive to advanced you will get an option named as curve optimizer so over here we can adjust the uh, voltage to frequency curve so what i have done is i have selected all cores and selected the curve optimization sign as negative so what happens here is once we select negative the uh, it is going to subtract the voltage for a particular frequency so we can set it between 0 to 30 so that is around 0 to 150 millivolts so here i have set it to the maximum value of 30 and now um, it will subtract 150 volts associated previously to the highest clock so i will show you that logic with an uh, line line graph so we can understand from that so once you have done these changes you can just uh, go to save and edit and then save and save changes and reboot so now i am i am not doing any changes so i will just uh, discuss changes and reboot